In this tutorial, we're going to automate our process of extracting model from the green screen. Um, challenges with automation process that you may have at multiple images you want to do, and you cannot go inside each of one and a twink as it's processing. Um, we can enable in Photoshop action to stop and require some parameters for the process, but if we have it rotoscoping or other with multiple images, you sometimes don't have it even time to adjust this. And again, a challenge for this tutorial is to create this automation process. So let's do this. First, what we need to do is enable our recording option. So we'll go inside our actions and I'm on default action. And you notice right here we have options to create. So I'm going to click on icon to create new action. Let's call the call is green screen. Next, what I want to do, it is set color just for myself so I can recognize as a green. And if you want to use any functional key, you can assign in this moment. When we press record, you'll notice right here, our red button is enabled. I can stop at any time or resume recording if I needed to adjust something. So right here, we have our ready um, for recording environment. Next, what I want to do, let's minimize this point. It is convert this image so I can easily extract green screen. And we'll go to image mode and we'll switch to the lab color. The lab color, it is a special settings that design closely to simulate human eye, which we have it more represented to the green light. So, and if you look in the channels right here, what we're interested in, it's in a channel. So we have lightness A and B and A, it is a, um, Compensation between green and red light. So it's green color will be much easier to extract by using this A channel. All what I needed from this mode, it's take this A channel and duplicate it as a copy. So at this point, we kind of done with lab colors because we receive our green and red um, kind of uh, composition in this layer. Okay, our opponent colors. And next we're going to image mode and we'll go switch back to RGB color. And you notice the layer that we copy, it still be available for us. So the next in RGB color, I want now by adjusting and fill modes, kind of increase contrast between these two zones. We will going to use overlay mode. If you're familiar with overlay mode, what we'll do, they will increase from 50% gray. And you notice right here by the our adjustments, this middle range, it's a lighter than 50% gray and outside is darker. So what are we going to do? It's edit, fill. At this point, I will just select a white color. I want mode set to overlay and we'll click OK. So in overlay, you can see right here how we already add details. So next things I want to do, it is again fill. But in this case, instead white, we'll go select the black color, same overlay mode and click OK. So you can notice already how we start extracting some of those details. We can go repeat this process till we have a nice black background and white mask. So I'm going to again fill and we'll go again fill with the black one more time. This already look nice. And I look right here, we have some small details. Okay, right here. So we'll go again, fill, but in this case with the white. Depending how strong you want your mask, you can repeat it a little bit more or less. And a black about right, except right here, we have a little bit more from the shadows casting. We can increase again our black if you need it. And I will go again. Let's just as this will go one more time black. And you can see we contract this mask a bit closer and we remove some of the shadows. Okay, if we look on our recording, you can see right here we have it convert more, select, duplicate, convert again, and we have it five times fill to extract this mask. Okay, at this point, 
when uh, this layer is selected i will press ctrl or command and click to select our mask okay, let's go back to our layers Re so re enable our main go to our layers and we need to go ahead and click to create mask so right here it's one thing happen when we create mask from this point if we look on the edge this edge you notice we grab some of the green outlining and it's always happened in this case okay. so you can see right here so on this we need to minimize this um, layer to do this let's go again select our mask we just pass and what we want to do we want to contract this shrink and I also want to preserve have this anti-aliasing edge the edge that is usually on normal photos so we'll go to select modify and we'll go to contract and we'll contract by two pixels so as you can see how it's shrink already inside and next we're going to select modify and we'll go to feather and we'll feather just by one pixel out okay so right here we have our selection in this case I want to again remove the mask outside so we go to select inverse now it's selecting outside we'll go to edit fill and we'll fill with 100% black on normal mode so at this point you can see right here we have now nicer more anti aliasing edge going around here and we don't have this kind of line green line going over our image okay sometimes you can add additional options for example you can notice right here we have our little bit green chromacast what I want to do it is remove some of this coloring just on the edge in this case it's not that bad but sometimes you have to even more casting depending on how much of the green light is spilled out so you can do same things you can go create new and we'll go to create black and white and we'll take a green light just bring a bit brighter and a little bit yellowish this edge and what we need to do is just work with our mask to fill this okay so let's go ahead we'll go to our mask click control to select it okay now when we select our mask we want kind of more feathering and shrink out so we go to select modify and we'll go to feather let's feather for about four pixels Okay, this point we can go select black and white mask we'll go to edit fill and notice when we fill so we kind of fill the outside the mask okay so let's go click again to deselect and you can see it's kind of harder to see but right here a little bit closer maybe to the coloring you can see how we remove some of this green coloring casting out of this again maybe we'll take 40 percent so don't affect but it does um right now it's harder to see but if you have a backdrop you'll notice now we have a neutral kind of coloring and edge so it will be better blending with any backdrop okay next what i want to do just take these two layers group them together let's rename it and at this point we can go ahead and click and stop our recording so you can see right here this moment we have our green screen action recording and we can actually try and see how it's work at this moment so let's go ahead well i'll go back to my um history can restore my image in this case i can go select green screen and just run this action and there you go you can see with action run this get very fast and we remove it the green screen with the properly edges so from this point we can continue to work on an image as we need it um, for example if you want to adjust make a little bit more edgy 
process as well. So on this we can um, add automated process for bring some more greengy and kind of almost like um, dodge and burn effect automated as well. But I recommend to watch separate tutorials how to automate dodge and burn effect. Thank you for watching these tutorials and please remember this task on the web is www.geekatplay.com.